on the top water, on the top water bait. He smoked that thing too, boy. I wish I'd have had my camera on. I cut it on at the last minute. Oh. Get my pliers out. I mean, he smoked that top water, man. There you go, top water. Little bass. Let's get him back in the water. There you go. Another one on the top water. On the popper. Mm. Another one on the top water. Get back in there. They loving that top water this morning. On the, on the top water, y'all. Uh, on the top water. Come on, come on y'all. Come on. Uh, another one, y'all. Right at the boat. Right at the boat on the top water. Right at the boat. I get the net off soon. And this boy he ate that thing too. Good. Hey. I hope y'all got that boy. I'm talking about that was right at the boat. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Right at the boat on the top water. I don't know if y'all can see that log right there. That fish was sitting right on, right up under that log right there. Let me get him back in the water. Uh, let you go, buddy. Get this off so I can show y'all. All right, <clears throat> another fish on the top water. That's going to be the splash back 70, guys, from Six Cents. Smashing them this morning. Every fish I caught has been on this bait right here. Enough talking. Let's get back in here and try to get another one. Mike D, hold them hook TV. Let's get it. Oh, 
All right, y'all. Little nice little bass right there. Caught him on a Texas rig. Uh, forgot the name of this old worm. I think it's called watermelon candy, I think it is. But whatever, something like that. Nice little chunk, fat, healthy fish. Caught them on the worm. I came kind of close in here. I really didn't want to come this far, but as I was reeling him in, the boat kind of pulled this way because I figured it might have had a few sitting in this in the tree line over here. But let's get him back in the water. YouTube. Let me see if I can get y'all the name of that worm I caught that fish on. Yeah. It is electric shiner. 5.4 six cents worm. All right, let's try to get one more before we get out of here. It's starting to get kind of high. It's almost like high noon. The sun beating. You guys can see. I don't know if you can see this, but it's 12 on the dot. So I'm tronna get out of here about 12.30. <clears throat> Hold them hook TV. Got another one on the worm. That electric shining worm, six cents brand. I think that's like number six or seven right here. You guys see that stick right there in the water? Sitting right on that lay down right there. Right up on that stick. He's right up on it. I didn't even let it drop to the bottom. Well, what I did was I did let it drop to the bottom. I lied. I let it drop to the bottom. And what I did was that fish was not sitting on the bottom of the water, which they haven't been too much doing typically today. Well, I realized what they're doing, especially around this, especially around all this timber that they have. They're sitting like right up under the timber, right off the bottom of the the, um, the bottom of the, um, the lake. So they're not actually sitting on the bottom. Of the, they like hovering right up under the timber. So. Don't be afraid to throw your worm, man, to bounce on that timber. Um, sometimes it might be the stick, which you should be able to feel if it's the stick that you're coming across. And then every now and then, but not every now and then, more times than often, you'll feel a boom right after it comes off of that timber. And you'll have your fish sitting right up under that. That fish is nice and cool. It's sitting up under the shed. Right up in that timber right here, guys. So don't be afraid to throw your stuff around timber and brush. And do a little gambling every now and then. Look at that fish back in the water. Mike D, hold him hook TV. Tell Alfredo bye. Tell him later, Alfredo. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold him hook TV. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm a little cut here. <laughs> Ain't nothing, though. I had to rig up another worm. That worm about ate up. Got a little bullet weight. I got it pegged with a peg right here. Keep my weight from sliding. Let's get back in there and try to get another one before I get out of here. Hold them hook TV. All right, y'all. It's a nice one here. There you go. <laughs> Do 
through my worm just now. Whew. All right. Another one on the shiner worm. All right, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, oh, that's a nice fish there. Man. Look at that. Right up in this grass right here, y'all. Right in this grass over there was this sitting up there. Throw the worm. Reeling in slow. Wait for the thump. Boop. You want to have a second or two to set that hook, man. You got to set that hook real quick. But there you go. That's about a two and a half. It might, it's probably a, that might be a three pounder there. But I'm going to get them back in the water because I want to get back in here and get some more while they're feeding right now. I guess I, guess I want to stay on them. So let's get this one back in the water. Get the release on it, man. Mike D, hold them hook TV. Let's go, man. I'm using a two-out hook. A um, small profile hook is not a real big hook. Um, he threw my worm. You guys saw what kind of worm I use. Let me get up out this stuff right quick. She didn't want to come in either. But I got her on in. Whew, that's a nice fish. Let's get the release on this thing. Let's get the release on it. Right, that's what I'm talking about. What's going on, YouTube? Your boy Mike D, Hold 'em Hook TV. Man, I had a great day on the water today. Finally, finally happy to get back fishing. Um, bought a lot of tackle while I was working. I was ordering a lot of stuff. Glad I got a chance to use some of it today. Caught some fish today. I had a blast. Um, like I said, I've been working so much, man. It felt so good to feel that ride bend to give me a hold em hook today. I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for commenting, liking my videos. More videos to come. I'm back fishing. The busy season is over with at work, so I'm back. I'm ready to do some fishing. I'm ready to bring you guys some great content. Appreciate every every last one of you guys hope everything is going great for you guys out there before i get out of here i want to show you guys what i use today not an expensive reel it's a shimano 2500 fx reel this reel cost me about 30 bucks maybe it was 20 25 bucks i can't remember um this is a seven foot medium action rod you guys already know this brand. I always have trouble saying that word, but you guys get it. Nice rod and reel combo. Um, eight pound P line. Eight pound P line, four carbon line. Um, bullet weight pegged off. Um, I think this is a two out hook. The worm I used today was the electric shiner. This is what I caught a lot of the bass on and the other bait I used today is another six inch. Excuse me, guys. Tangled up here a little bit. Did not drop y'all too, huh? Let me get y'all back up here. This is another six inch bait. It's a popping bait from six cents. This thing was awesome this morning for the top water bite. That's how I started off. Got me going. Um, again, this is eight pound fluorocarbon line. Same setup with my my worm rod. Same two rods. They did great for me today. I just want to give you guys a, a tutorial kind of what I use today. And that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Mike D. Hold 'em Hook TV. Till next time. Get off the couch. Get out the house. Cause you can't do nothing on that couch. Till next time, YouTube.